Few creatures strike fear into the hearts of people more than sharks. These massive fish live beneath the ocean's waves, and they strike with incredible speed and brutality. Although the number of humans killed by sharks isn't high, they're still frightening. Another strange, aggressive, and territorial animal that has killed people in the past is the Komodo dragon. This island-dwelling monitor lizard is swift and terrifying because of its unusual looks and the fact that we don't know just how deadly it may be. What would happen if these two creatures clashed? Take a look at a Komodo dragon versus shark fight and see which one you should fear the most. The major differences between a Komodo dragon and a shark are their morphology, location, and size. Komodo dragons are large quadrupedal lizards that primarily live on a series of islands in Indonesia, while sharks are massive cartilaginous fish that live in all five of Earth's oceans. Sharks, particularly the great white shark, are much longer and heavier than Komodo dragons, exceeding their size by several times. The most important factors in a fight between the deadly Komodo dragon and a shark include their body size, the way they kill their prey, and how swift they are in the water. We're going to examine these facets of the animals along with others, assign advantages, and analyze the results in a hypothetical combat situation. Take a look and see which creature makes it out alive. Sharks are much larger than Komodo dragons. Using the data from a great white shark, we can clearly see that a Komodo dragon pales in size compared to them. A great white shark weighs up to 2,400 pounds and grows about 21 feet long. Meanwhile, a Komodo dragon will only weigh about 300 pounds and grow 10 feet long at its maximum. Sharks have a massive size advantage against Komodo dragons. Sharks are faster than Komodo dragons in the water. A shark can swim at speeds between 20 and 35 miles per hour, but a Komodo dragon's estimated swim speed is under 10 miles per hour. That means the reptile will not have the opportunity to flee once the fighting starts. Furthermore, sharks' bodies help them move swiftly underwater, but Komodo dragons are not as effective at swimming as they are at running. Sharks have an advantage in speed and movement. Sharks are perfect hunters from a sensory standpoint. They have great vision, the ability to smell one part substance per billion parts of water, and they can detect the electrical fields of other animals around them. Komodo dragons have good senses, too. Their eyesight is very useful, and their ability to sample the air with their tongues to get chemical data is amazing. At least, it's helpful on land but not so much in the water. Sharks have a profound sensory advantage against Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons excel in physical defenses. They have reinforced scaly skin that helps their body deflect some biting attacks from foes. Aside from that, their speed on land helps them get away from foes. Sharks only have their massive size and speed to keep them safe. Fortunately for them, that is enough to keep them safe in most cases. Komodo dragons have a theoretical advantage in physical defenses. Sharks are incredible predators that ambush their foes and kill them very quickly. When they attack, they use a massive bite that implements 50 teeth measuring 4 to 6 inches in length and digs into the prey at 4,000 psi. These teeth are meant to tear massive chunks out of prey, instantly killing or incapacitating them. Komodo dragons use their teeth and claws to kill. They pin their prey with their claws and heavy bodies and start biting in vital areas, exsanguinating them. Meanwhile, every bite introduces a mild venom into their wounds. This venom apparently helps send the prey into shock and makes their wounds bleed more severely. Both animals are vicious, capable fighters, but only one of them can survive. A shark would win a fight against a Komodo dragon, and it wouldn't even be close. Since the shark can only survive in water and the Komodo dragon spends a fair amount of time swimming in the water, that's where the fight will take place. In the water, the shark has every advantage. Everything from size, speed, and fighting abilities all go the shark's way. The shark would use its speed to ram into and overwhelm the Komodo dragon. Although the monitor lizard's skin is tough, it's not going to turn away those massive teeth with that much power behind them. A single bite would prove devastating, if not fatal. Massive blood loss and amputations would kill the Komodo dragon. Although some people may want to believe that the Komodo dragon's venom could play a role here, it wouldn't. Sure, if the Komodo dragon knew the attack was coming and countered it, it might land a single bite. A single bite is not enough to exsanguinate or envenomate a shark to the point where it dies. The shark would earn a meal this time.